There it is, ladies and gentlemen, that's the Kira. And it came beautiful too, as you can see. In there. Told you I rush rush the flower on top. So it's still hot. Okay, that's the Maltese Ftira. I gave you the recipe. Okay, that's why I rush the, the, the white stuff. Is I rush the uh, the flower on top. Okay, look at that. Isn't that beautiful or not? That's the Maltese Ftira. It's crunchy. It's beautiful. It smells amazing. And believe me, you enjoy it. You can enjoy it with so many things, zeit, oil, tomato paste, onions, olives, inchovy, tuna, in between. Okay, that's how we used to do it in Malta. We used to cut, cut, cut it, cut it in half again, put tomato paste, olives, okay, inchovy or tuna, okay, and tomato, whatever you feel like to do, you do. And it came absolutely gorgeous, just nice and crunchy. You can't hear it, unfortunately. Okay, very nice. Now, as well as I did the Maltese rolls. These are the same recipe, okay? Same recipe, that's the Maltese rolls. What I did with these rolls, I filled them up with salami, olives and cheese in between, put them into the pastry, roll them up, with the filling and cook them with the filling and they came very nice. Tony from Australia and I don't mind keep showing you because it came absolutely wonderful. That's the Maltese Ftira. The goals on now, they make it, they make the Ftira as a pizza. Okay? That's what they do in Gozo. But that's the Maltese Ftira, real Maltese Ftira. Okay? The shape of the Ftira everything. It smells, ooh, it smells Maltese. <laughs> there you are. Good luck. You got the recipes and you got the recipes and please listen to the video. Okay, listen to the video if you don't mind until the end and then you can ask questions. Okay, thank you Tony from Australia. Here we go. Maltese tea and Maltese rose. These are beautiful. As I told you, I filled them up with salami, olives, and uh, mozzarella cheese inside, and I cook them with, with this stuff in it. Beautiful. Honest. Bye. Good luck. Try it. You'll be okay.